Hi, and on this lesson I will explain you what is the RAID 5 level of a redundancy array of inexpensive independent disks. So when you want to combine your hard drives into the RAID 5 level, you have to have minimum three hard drive. So we have here three hard drive, each one of them one terabyte. You combine them <coughs> and merge them into the one and give them like letter drive D. But how uh, much space do you have from these three terabytes in total? And how files are written on this drive? So for our instance, we have three files here. And let's write first of them. You see how it's wrote? It's <coughs> the 50% of, of the file written on one disk, the next part written on another disk. But it's not all. Ah, by the way, if you, if you know what is RAID 0, Yes, it's exactly RAID 0 here we can see, like a stripping, like part of the file written one disk and second part written to another disk, but it's not all. In RAID 5, the third disk also in use, and uh, some table called parity created uh, and stored some data. Uh, for example, uh, let's say uh, here we wrote a uh, number 5. Yeah, all this data is just number five, and here it's number uh, I don't know two. So here the parity table uh, include the sum of the summary of the um, not summary sorry sum of this uh, two. So it will be seven five plus two. It's seven. For what? For example, if one of the disk failed, this disk for example the first one is <coughs> dead. So uh, from the sum you can uh, make some <coughs> mathematical uh, 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 operation and uh, to understand what's missing just from 7, just minus 2, you know, the, what is missing is 5, so, you, so still you can uh, continue to work. Let's write another file and see what's happened. Another file written uh, also uh, stripped to two disks, one part written to one hard drive, second part written on another drive, and on another drive, you see, not on the same drive, and the parity written on another uh, on another one. Uh, almost same happened with the third one. It's written on, an, on two drives, and the parity written on another. And it's all always equal, you know, across all of the drives which you have, which you will have. If you will have <coughs> ten uh, hard drives, everything will be equal. Okay. So from here you can understand it will fill up uh, <coughs> we'll write here one more file, a huge file to just complete the, the complete the full disk. You will see that the parity, the great uh, great <coughs> rectangles uh, <coughs> is take about uh, not 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 about exactly one drive on, of these three. So yeah, in the RAID, in the RAID 5 level, if you have three drives, you will have three drives with one terabyte each one, you will have available two terabytes. One drive, like size of one drive will always be used for parity tables. If you have 10 uh, hard drives, each one one terabyte, you will have nine terabytes available. One drive always will, like, like size of one drive will always be <coughs> used by parity tables. Okay, for example, uh, right now let's see what happened in one drive failing. Yeah, <coughs> our uh, second drive failed. What's happened? If you see a uh, file number two, just uh, not impacted at all. Uh, part one written here, part second part written here. Yeah, continue to read. What happened with uh, file number one? We, we remember that, uh, that the parity. Yeah, we, we have available only part one, but we know in the parity the sum uh, of the like. Uh, here was, was five, here it was two, yeah, so yeah, it's no problem to just recover the data. We know what uh, what was written on this drive, just 10 minus five, yeah, we'll get to same here, you see, for, <coughs> file number three, we have a uh, second part, we don't have the first one, but we have a sum of the, uh, of the bits, uh, so from the just, uh, by using some uh, simply formula, we just can uh, know what, uh, what was here. <clears throat> okay, so our, our data will be available with no problem, but then you have one drive failure, the read and write performance will be, will be reduced dramatically because uh, for read <clears throat> for uh, for read you will have 
um, to uh, like a computer will have to uh, calculate always what was what was missing from the parity table. Um, okay, so for what? Okay, uh, yeah. See, uh, all data will uh, will be available. You will not need to do nothing, uh, but the performance will be, will be reduced. <coughs> What you will need to do, just in, in order to improve the performance, just remove this dead drive, uh, throw it to, to, the <clears throat> to the junk, and put the new one. And okay, the rebuild uh, procedures will start rebuilding. The rebuild procedure also very high, high, um, read, high read and write operation, and it will slow your system. But then it will be completed. Your system will be uh, will be back running. And uh, by the way. During the all rebuild process, all files available. You can continue to run and can access your files. Everything running great. So, uh, what is advantages of this? Advantages of this is that you, the read performance really great. You read from few drives in this and in this and th then uh, I'm talking about then do we have all all drives available. <laughs> the second is the you lose like you lose uh, if you have three drives only one drive is used by um uh, for parity if you have 10 drives only one of the 10 just uh, uses for parity nine terabytes yeah, will be available for you so it's not so uh, expensive uh, with compared to for example a uh, raid one where is it everything mirroring so this uh, configuration is good for uh, Good for a uh, file system, uh, uh, shared share server, application servers. For database, uh, I don't think it's good for database which have a high uh, read write, uh, especially write uh, operations. Yeah, because write it's not so fast here. Okay, that's all. This is a RAID file, how it's work, and if you want to see. Uh, really how to set it up and how to fail and how to recover in Windows just stay tuned I will show you it on example Windows uh, 2016 okay here we have Windows 2016 standard edition let's open a disk management disk mgmt.msc oh, come on yeah you can do it also on Windows XP will have this option okay uh, Windows this management this management uh, check and see that I inserted new four drives into this computer uh, we need just to in initialize them uh, to check uh, to check a um, boot record table if it's uh, MBR or GPT I always <coughs> choose MBR if this disk is less than four terabytes GPT if this disk more than four terabytes it's okay just MBR the disk is initialized let's yeah okay we will see it's much better okay see we have four disks each one 10 terabytes so let's <coughs> combine three of them into the raid 5 level right click new raid 5 if you don't have this option or if this option is grayed out probably you don't have three available disks yeah so new <coughs> raid 5 next and how many disks you want to add one more one more you see here it is written how the total volume size in megabytes which, which will be available for me you see from three disks i will have only 20 if i will add the third disk it, i will have 30. so only one disk only it doesn't matter how many disks only one of them used for parity so let's remove the third we, we will use it for <clears throat> after the one disk will fail it's okay next it will be drive d new volume my ray my RAID 5 disk and let's format it next next yes we need to convert it to dynamic from basic it's basic right now it will be converted to dynamic need to wait it will take some uh, less than minutes because yeah the drives it's only 10 gigabytes the resynchronization rebuild it will take a while Okay, all of them dynamic. We see. Okay, uh, by the way, yeah, yeah, they start resyncing, but we uh, we already can uh, start using it. My computer. See, we have drive D here. Let's try just create some folders. No, uh, no. What we have here? Maybe copy this file. A huge, not so huge. Sixteen. 
megabytes uh, continue <clears throat> so right now it's written to two physical drives and third creating the parity table for the data yeah <clears throat> okay it's take some time it's still resyncing I will emulate uh, the failure of the disk by just uh, shutting down this window server, removing one drive from the windows, and starting. Uh, then I will start Windows Server uh, back again. You will see one drive missing, and what will happen with our files? What's going on here? You see, we created three folders and one file here. Great, good. All right, what's happened? Resyncing. Okay, let, let's wait till then it will finish and I will reboot the system. Okay, so just uh, stay tuned. Okay, it's done. Uh, have a healthy. Let's make uh, the <coughs> fail of one of the disks. Okay, here we're back. Let's just see if our disk is still available. Our drive D. Huh? You see, my disk is here, everything here. Folders, file, everything here. But we removed one of the hard drives physically. Let's see what's happening in disk management. Disk MGMT, MCS. All right, let's see what's happened here. Okay, see, it's fail, it's redundancy. Okay, so two disks is online. This is a, our um, third disk, which is not, uh, is, we didn't use it. And here our a uh, disk, which is missing. Just somebody removed it. <laughs> okay, let's fix the issue. Let's recreate our RAID 5 level. Because right now, a read and write <coughs> performance really slow. So, <laughs> right, click, <coughs> sorry, right click on one of them, repair volume. And it's uh, automatically detect which disk we can use. You see, it's disk 3 is available as a replacement for the broken. Okay, it will be converted to dynamic. Yes, sure. Okay, it's already dynamic. And right now, all these three disks start synchronizing it will take a while if your disk is like for two terabytes each one well it can take you know a day and this is you see all, all automatically removed from the rate uh, level i think we can remove a disk here yeah just remove it okay so just need to wait till it will will finish and that's all as a as system administrator you fix the issue everything good just replace it new Place it new hard drive, all okay. But uh, during the synchronization, your disk available. You can continue to write or continue to read from it with no problem. The impact is only by uh, performance. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. <laughs> and that's all. This is how to implement, use, and recover uh, on the RAID 5 level and Windows.